Okay, second video about making the snap to grid little demo project. And we left off with our grid. We drew things on the screen, but we can't move them. These are dynamically created things, the circles, the rectangles. And so if we want to interact with them, if we want to have callback methods, we have to do that in code. So let's go back to our code and start saying, hey, circle. Before you get lost here and put inside the pane, let's give you some extra functionality here. So, right here, we're going to do stuff and say, hey, circle, here's some things to remember. Set on mouse pressed. I need an event handler. When I get an event, I want to pass it to the Pressed function that I'm going to be writing down below. Bring in my event and go ahead and bring in the piece. I can give it to it right here because it knows about it. And then it will remember that this circle right here is associated with this particular piece. Okay, so copy and paste. Let's be careful. Pressed, dragged, and released. Let's make these three methods here. Okay, so when the circle is pressed, when I press the mouse down and drag and lift it up, those are all gonna be three separate events that can be recorded. So <clears throat> let's see what happens. I need to start writing them down here. Oh, that's still inside the initialize method. Here we go. Public void pressed. Okay, what happens? We bring in a mouse event and we're bringing in our piece. Mouse event for JavaFX. Again, always pick the JavaFX one. And then what are we going to do with it? When it's pressed, let's talk to our piece and say set color to be color dark. Oh, let's make it dark golden rod. That looks like fun. So right now to test things out, I never want to write too much code without testing. So let's try it again. If I press something, I can change their color. Yes, they're now reacting to me as I press on them. Good. Okay, so when I press them, I will know that it is being moved around. Great. Public void drag. It's going to match the other one exactly. And we have this piece here that we can do stuff. So when we're dragging it, the event also knows what is the x, y coordinate that this mouse event happened in. So we can say, hey, piece, set your x to be your x value plus the event x value. Well, let's do the same thing for the y values. Set the y. Don't forget, copy and paste, you've got to change everything. It's so easy to forget. And then let's make sure that we draw wherever it is. OK, because it's moving the x and the y coordinates, draw is going to make it show up in a different place on the screen. So let's try to run it here. Pressed, that still works. Pressed and dragged. Ah, oh, it doesn't work because I forgot to uncomment up here. Drag. Okay, then can I press them and drag them around the screen? Pressed and dragged. Great. Pressed and dragged. There's three of them here stuck on top of each other. Excellent. So I can move them. I can move them to wherever I want. Okay. The trick that I want to do now is say, wait, I want to actually 
drop them into convenient spaces instead of them having just lying around. We spend all that time generating them in the right spots. Let's drop them. And so when I release things, let's comment that now, public void released mouse event event piece. Great. So when I release them, I am going to need to know what is that coordinate. Notice we had to do some nice math up here to figure out what the x and the y's should be. We got some number and then we uh, multiplied it to be the right size, but it was only a small grid of numbers. We could be anywhere. And so here's what we have to do. We have to say my x value in the grid, let's go back to what spot I was in, is going to be equal to casting my position and dividing it by Square size. So where am I on the screen? Because I want to do integer division and get rid of the remainder of things, then I get to figure out my actual spot in the grid. <clears throat> I'll do the same thing for my grid spot for y. This is equivalent to what we were getting over here. And so now I just have to do this stuff over here to get back my new x value, right? So <clears throat> I should be able to p dot set x to be this times grid x. And then p dot set y this times grid y. And don't forget to draw it. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Will it snap into place? Pick it up, drag it around. When I drop it, oh, it goes back. This is awesome. Snaps it into place. So we figure out what are those underlying coordinates and then drops it into place. Cool. Okay, last thing we wanna do we want to not just know that I'm dropping in the right place, but maybe interacting with the squares at that point, asking questions to a game about the grid. So to really show that in a simple way, let's remember where those rectangles are in a grid. Private rectangle 2D array grid. And just like I have to do before, grid equals new rectangle 2d array and that is going to be filled with the number of spots the number of spots great okay so when i make something let's say grid at spot i j equals r so close i and j are going to be way too big because they're going all the way up to size I need to divide them by the square size and j divided by square size. That's gonna let me actually get it to work. Okay, so I remember these in a grid. Here, I have the grid x and the grid y. Well, let's just talk to it and change its color. So we're going to talk to grid at spot grid x and grid y and it's a rectangle so I can set your fill to be a different color. Color dot uh, crimson. Why not? Let's see what happens now. They start off in a place. I pick them up. They turn goldenrod. I drop them. They should snap to place and change that grid color, yes. So this is how we can talk back to what we want is a much more complicated model than just a grid full of rectangles. We probably want a grid with other things in there so we can ask, hey, am I allowed to make this move or not? 
Should this piece be here? Are you updating other things? This will hopefully get you uh, working towards games that involve interaction and pieces that snap into predefined places. Good luck.